and I welcome you all uh, in this workshop. Uh, so far, most of the things have been covered. The one that has successfully set up the tone of the entire workshop. And now we are going to look at the practical side of whatever was discussed on the theoretical grounds. The very first exercise that we did today was to put our first names on the name tags. That simply means that when we get into the corporate, what we do individually, what we contribute individually is important. But at the same time, success in corporate is not just about individuality, it is also about contributing it in the form of a team. Our next session would focus primarily <coughs> on how can we perform in terms of a team. The next activity will help you to discover what are the characteristics, what are the traits that are required to be successful in the corporate world. As one of the slides suggested that hard skills get you a job, but soft skills maintain you there. There is a beautiful saying in the corporate world that if you get hard skills, if you get hard skills, it will help you to remain in the job. But in order to sustain over there, in order to get to the higher echelons of the hierarchy, you have to maintain the soft skills. So let us move forward with my exercise that will help us to understand what is expected of us when we are part of a team. To be employed is to be at risk. If you are employed, still you are at risk. Any day your job can go. But to be employable, to be employable is to be at the luxury. To be employable is a luxury for us. To be employed is to be at risk. We can get into a job, but the chances are chances of remaining in the job will depend on how much soft skills do we have. But how much are we polishing ourselves? So I would request uh, one member from each team, each of the blocks, to come forward. One from this block, other from this block, uh, from this block, and from this block. Anyway. <laughs> So I have selected five team leaders, but they are not the leaders of the team where they were sitting comfortably. And since they, they have taken up the initiative to come forward, I am giving them the privilege to select their teams. Now each of the team leaders will be selecting their respective teams. So starting with Palguni, who would you like to have in your team? Yes, you, to, you can select any one by one. One, one by, by one. one. When you select one, all the others select one, then you select the second. And they will come and stand with you. Thank you. 
Now I would request from the team leaders to take their team to the respective places. To your new place. To a new place. Sit together. So there are five teams. If you wish, you can name your teams also after the name of any corporate legend. <coughs> Task is very simple. Each of the team would be coming up with the questions. Questions could relate to two categories. Category number one: What are some of the questions? that could be asked at the time of campus recruitment. What are the questions that could be asked at the time of campus recruitment? Number one. Number two, category number two. Pardon? What are the questions that could be asked of you at the time of campus recruitment? Stay at the new job. 
something like this. Or there is a range of questions which are asked in the time of recruitment, the campus interview. Tell me something about yourself to the grandmother of all questions. Why should I hire? So there is a range of questions. The challenge is very simple. Team A would ask questions to team one, yours is team one, team two, team three, team four, and team five. So you would be asking questions to team five. Team 5 would be asking questions to team 3. Team number 3. Team number 2 would be asking questions to team number 4. Which team is left now? Team 5. Yeah, 5. So 4. That is 4. So you would be asking questions to team 4. Is there any team left? 1, 2, 5. Yeah, yeah, team one. Team one would be asking questions to team five. Team two would be asking questions to team four. Team four. Uh, and I would request two observers from each of two observers from your team to see the proceedings. Why don't you come forward with your chairs? Ask the leader to nominate. Nominate two people. Ask the leader to nominate the two people. Nominate two people. Ready with your set of questions. In common sense, in common sense, 